logos, ethos, and pathos. Three techniques that all great oratory speakers use. Uh, namely, Frederick Douglass, the great abolitionist of the 18th century and civil rights leader, hallelujah, who went on to be one of the first black men to join Congress. All right, I'm going to incorporate those three techniques. Hallelujah. Ethos, which is to stimulate your audience intellectually and cognitively. And I'm going to do that by making this statement. Anointed people are people who show up at an appointed time because God does not give his blessings away haphazardly and willy-nilly. He gives his blessings and performs his will at an appointed time because he is a God of an appointed time and he gives his blessings to those who keep an appointment. Hallelujah. Now, ethos is done. Pathos is appealing to one's audience. Hallelujah. Sympathetically and empathetically so that they can feel what you're saying. You feel me? Now, pathos. Have you ever been on the road and you're driving and you're on the highway? The speed limit is 70 miles an hour. And there's someone in front of you doing 55 in a 70 mile per hour zone. You're not mad because you have an option. Hallelujah. You don't want to let your destiny be controlled by this person that is in front of you. You don't want to allow your appointed time to be missed by this person that is in front of you because they don't have anywhere to go. You have an appointed time. So you go around them and you mash on it. Sometimes you have to mash on it. Hallelujah. Amen. You feel me? So now we've completed pathos. Logos. Logos is appealing to your audience in a way to show them a distinct example of what you are saying. Hallelujah. Logos is to give a distinct example. So now, Logos, you are on a schedule of glory. You are on a schedule of glory. There is an appointed time for your release. Okay? Since there is an appointed time for your release, you must keep an appointment. Example, Deuteronomy 28 and 1, where it says, And it shall come to pass, if you, if thou shalt hearken diligently, meaning listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, to one, observe and to do all these commandments that I declare unto thee this day, that all these blessings shall come upon thee and what? Overtake you, meaning to tackle you. God's going to tackle you with blessings. Hallelujah. If you hearken, meaning to listen to the voice of the Lord your God. Hallelujah. So that is the example. Hallelujah. I've just performed a short, super short sermon for you, incorporating the three techniques of oratory excellence, ethos, logos, and pathos. Hallelujah. This sermon is over. God bless you. Have a good night.